Hi everybody, I'm Olympian Carrie Tellefson and also a big supporter of the Chris Kluth Foundation. My husband rode on the Leadville 100 mountain bike team last year and we had such a blast getting to meet everybody there and also just supporting such a great cause. I am also a recipient of donor bone. I had a tumor in 1997 that they filled with donor bone so it is um, close to my heart and I'm very thankful for everything I've been given and for a life that I've been given because I have lived a life of an athlete and I still am in the sport in some capacity, doing commentary and speaking and things like this. So I wanna keep you runners healthy, any athlete healthy. And stretching is what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna to give you a few running stretches, but guess what, they're for anyone. So let's do it. Okay, first of all, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm done with a run, I usually like to lay down for a second. So I'm gonna have you get on your back, pull one knee up. So I have my left knee right now. I'm pulling that to my chest. And you know, hold for 15, 20 seconds, rolling that ankle at the same time. Then I'm gonna have you move to bringing that knee over across your body. So we're working more our lower back, piriformis, IT band, everything gets so locked up in our lower backs and in our hips. So we're just rolling over pulling that knee. Now I want you guys to bring that knee over and open it up. So we're opening up our groin, getting our adductor, still opening up the lower back, and then we're gonna switch legs. All right, you guys, now move to your right leg. So bring it up to your chest, rolling that ankle. So I'm kind of old school. I don't do a lot of new techniques. I just use what's worked over the years. Bringing that knee over, really working to open up that back. And I do try to stretch, but it is one of those things that I sort of let go when I'm busy. I'll jump right in the shower instead of getting a good stretch in, and I can tell when I have it. So I hope you guys take care of your bodies. You know, we don't know what races are gonna happen and what, what aren't gonna happen, but we still need to make sure we're taking care of our bodies. Okay, now let's come out here and do a groin stretch. I push my knees down with my elbows, and then I'm gonna kick my right foot out, bringing that left foot in, keeping it nice and tight, getting a hamstring stretch here. I am not very limber, as you can see. <laughs> and then let's bring this same leg that we had out back to get a nice quad stretch. I always give my muscles a little love, give them a little massage at the same time. You can see my foam roller here. I try to keep as loose as I can, but like I said, I'm not always so good about doing it. It's discipline, right? Trying to make sure we take care of our bodies. This side is always a little more tight for me. Okay, let's bring that leg back. Really working that quad, your hip flexor, the side. It's a little mad today for me. Did some hills yesterday. So I hope you guys are staying focused though. I know there's a lot up in the air and people are wondering how to keep your training going and your eye on the prize, eye on that goal. And you know, it's okay to back off a little bit on your training, but this is a really good time to build back up that base. You know, go back to those threshold workouts, go back to those, those base building workouts where you get super strong, throw in some hills here and there, add some strides. Okay, let's bring that same leg that we just had back and let's hug it up towards our chest. So right here, getting a piriformis stretch, really elongate that IT band. You know, I think it's a really hard time. A lot of things are up in the air, but we do have our health, hopefully. And if you do have your health and you are able to walk and run and do all the other activities you like to do, it's so good for our, you know, our minds and, and our bodies. Getting that fresh air, getting that vitamin D. So keep moving and keep staying positive. And you know, having the Chris Klug Foundation and that community there is so important. So keep checking in and keep, you know, communicating. Okay, now I like to get on my mat 
And the reason why I like to have a mat is because I usually double it up to save on my knees. So what I'm gonna have you guys do is bring your right leg out and you can bring that left arm up, get a good hip flexor stretch. If you need to lean into it, you can. So I have my right arm way up. And then what I love to do, my favorite stretch, is to bring this heel up to my glute and get that quad. It's also a little bit of a balancing thing for me too. My right side is engaged because I do have to stay balanced. Okay, let's switch. So you'll put your right knee down, right hand up, get a good hip flexor stretch, lean into it, breathe, come back up. I always kind of point out with my left hand while I'm bringing that right heel up get my sense of balance, and then stretch that quad. Good work, you guys. We're gonna go into a calf stretch next. And then that's it. I mean, you know, while I'm walking away, I'll stretch my arms. But I really am pretty simple, like I said. So take this calf down, I roll the other foot, so I have my right heel down, rolling my left foot. And you'll see me do a little bit more than just a calf stretch. I kind of have a little series. I go from here into a runner's lunge. Get again that piriformis. Go back to my calf. And so my left calf is down, rolling that right foot. Now bringing this left leg into that runner's lunge. And I'm breathing and then I come back up and I'll finish with a little lower back Cobra sit back one more time back into a Cobra and then I'm done like I said I'll walk away usually do a quick arm stretch shake my arms out, and then I'm ready to get after the day. So hope you guys are hanging in there. If you need something to go in your ears on your run or just to keep you motivated, check out my podcast, ctollyrun.com. Um, I'm super excited to hear how you all do. If you ever need anything, I'm right here for you guys. Again, my name is Carrie Tellison, and make sure to stay healthy, and you can do it. Thanks for everything you're doing for the foundation. Bye, you guys.